a community of humble people who gather in this humble space to say La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah to exercise their, their, their right to be Muslim in a space that's open to all men and women old and young May Allah Ta'ala bless this place May Allah Ta'ala bless the people May Allah Ta'ala bless the Muslims of this town, Oakland a tradition, a city with a tradition of struggle a tradition of, of, of people willing to sacrifice even their lives standing up to police brutality standing up to racist institutions standing up to murderous forces in many, in some instances May Allah Ta'ala bless the people of Oakland, California May Allah Ta'ala bless them to carry on the tradition that's been inherited. May Allah Ta'ala bless all of our young people. May you be inspired as the people, the youth in Egypt, by their example, to use the, the social networking for more than just playing games and amusing ourselves to death, as Neil Postman mentioned, but to organize, to get to, to bring, to create communities of activists young activists who are willing to sacrifice to work for change in our society that's in desperate need of change and may we never forget that although we celebrate the triumph of the people in Egypt to this point and as we said we know there are many many challenges ahead but may we never forget we have our struggle right here in this country we have a struggle against police brutality we have a struggle against the, the racist incarceration system. In New York State, 89% of the individuals, 89%, and probably here in California it's not much different, of incarcerated individuals, Latino and African American, in, in a state where Latinos and African Americans don't even make up 20% of the population, 89% of those who are incarcerated. This is a struggle that we have to wage. We have to wage the struggle against the policies that have oppressed the people in Egypt and other places for so long. We, we send platitudes of congratulations, but their oppression, the dictatorship, the authoritarian grip that was crushing them, robbing them blind to the tunes of billions of dollars was facilitated in large part by the policies of our country and as long as that's the case we have a challenge as great as their challenge because what we do if we succeed in overcoming the challenge before us will affect not only Egypt but the entire world we have a struggle before us and just as they waged it just as they waged it with dignity with principle with non-violence, that is the way we have to struggle. And we have to let it be known to all and sundry. We won't be tempted and trapped into reckless and irresponsible actions that can be only used to demonize us. That we will go forth with dignity, with principle, with valor, to build a righteous and good community yes. in this country and be a witness unto all of the nations. Bismillahi ta'ala. May Allah ta'ala bless you. May He bless the people of Egypt. May He bless the people of Palestine. May He bless the people of Sudan and Somalia and all the places. Afghanistan, Iraq, Kashmir. All the places. May He bless us here in this land. May Allah ta'ala purify our hearts. May He purify our, our intentions. May He purify our actions. May He bless us with nobility, the nobility of that 12-year-old girl whose letter we shared at the beginning of this khutbah. May He bless us with that nobility. And may He bless us in these days to hold our heads high and to say with great pride, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna muhammadan rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم 
ولی سائر المؤمنین یا قوم استغفر الله استغفر 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 الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا إن الله وملائكته يصالون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم الحمد لله الحمد لله الحمد لله Perhaps the most inspiring aspect of the movement in Egypt is the humility Humility articulated in the fact no one even wants to claim leadership of the movement It's the epitome of humility The established parties in the opposition It's not ours The Muslim Brotherhood is not ours The leftists, socialists, communists, trade unions It's not ours It's the people's It's the people's Humility is one of the great keys to the victory they've achieved to this point. Allah Ta'ala, He tells us, uh, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam tells us, ما نقصت صدقة من مال Charity will never decrease your wealth. وما زاد عبدا بعفو إلا عزة and Allah only increases a servant who has in themselves the power to pardon and forgive others by exalting them. وَمَا تَوَادَعَ أَحَدٌ لِلَّهِ إِلَّا رَفَعَهُ اللَّهِ And no one humbles themselves for the sake of God except that God exalts them, elevates them. So humility is important. Our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he mentioned إِنَّ اللَّهَ أَوْحَى إِلَيَّ أَنْ تَوَادَعُوا حَتَّى لَا يَفْقَرَ أَحَدٌ عَلَىٰ أَحَدٍ وَحَتَّى لَا يَبْغِيَ أَحَدٌ عَلَىٰ أَحَدٍ That Allah has revealed to me that you should all humble yourselves so that no one arrogates himself over the other and no one seeks to transgress against the other. It is istighbar, when some people arrogate themselves, this pushes them to transgression. Uh, Shaitan, Iblis, arrogated himself over Adam alayhi salam. Aba was takbara wa kana min al kafirin. And so this pushed him to transgress and to reject the guidance of his Lord. This is a quality of the arrogant. But Allah Ta'ala. He tells us and his Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam tell us that humility is what he desires from us, not arrogance. Arrogance is the way of Satan and humility is the way of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He also mentioned Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Ibghuni fil duha fit duafa fa he said, look for me amongst the poor people. For verily, you are given your sustenance and you're given divine aid based on how you treat the poor amongst you. And again, the people in Egypt rose up on behalf of the poor, not on behalf the poor people who were crushed down, the poor people who couldn't get jobs, the poor people who didn't have rights to adequate nutrition, the poor people who were being trampled on, whose money was being stolen by all of these newfound, this class of billionaires. They rose up in the name of the poor people, the disenfranchised, the downtrodden, the people who the Prophet ﷺ said, seek me amongst those people. 
And we should never abandon the poor people. If you have an opportunity, go on Saturday morning, 9 o'clock to the Rainbow Rec Center to feed the poor people. Take action on behalf of the poor people. Don't, th don't just think of the privileges you might enjoy. Think of the suffering others are forced to endure. And think of what you might be able to do in humble ways, feeding, sharing, to help to make their lives a little easier. And if you do that, if we do that, we don't know where, how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala might bless us. We never know how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala might bless us. Because at the end of the day, He's in charge. And He says again, concerning the poor people, وَنُرِيدُ أَن نَمُنَّ عَلَى الَّذِينَ اسْتُدْعِفُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ وَنَجْعَلَهُمْ أَئِمَّةً وَنَجْعَلَهُمْ وَنَجْعَلَهُمُ الْوَارِثِينَ That we wanted to show our grace upon those who are oppressed in the earth and to make them the leaders and to make them the heirs. This is the affair of our Lord, brothers and sisters. Never forget that. Never leave, lose sight of that. Never lose sight of that. And whatever you can do, whatever you can do in whatever capacity, be that in deed, be that in speech, be that in writing, be that in sympathy and solidarity, never forget the poor people. Allahumma ghfir al-Muslimin wa al-Muslimat wa al-Mu'minin wa al-Mu'minat al-Ahyai minhum wa al-Amwat Rabbana la tuzig kulubana ba'd idh hadaytana wa hab lana min ladunka rahma innaka anta al-Wahhab Rabbana afrg alayna al-Sabran wa thabit aqdamana wa unsurna ala al-Qawm al-Kafirin Rabbana afrg alayna al-Sabran wa thabit aqdamana wa tawafana muslimin wa afu anna وغفي لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين اللهم إنا نعوذ بك من الهم والحزن ونعوذ بك من العجز والكسل ونعوذ بك من الجبن والبخل ونعوذ بك من غلبة الدين وقهر الرجال ونعوذ بك من الفقر إلا إليك ومن الذل إلا لك ومن الخوف إلا منك اللهم اقسم لنا من خشيتك ما تحول به بيننا وبين معاصيك ومن طاعتك ما تبلغنا بها جنتك ومن اليقين ما يهون علينا مصائب الدنيا ومتعنا بأسماعنا وأبصارنا وقوتنا ما أحييتنا واجعله الوارث منا واجعل ثأرنا على من ظلمنا وانصرنا على من عدانا ولا تجعل مصيبتنا في ديننا ولا تجعل مصيبتنا مصيبتنا في ديننا ولا تجعل مصيبتنا في ديننا ولا تجعل الدنيا أكبر همنا ولا مبلغ إمنا ولا تسلط علينا بذنوبنا من لا, من من لا يخافك ولا يرحمنا يا أرحم الراحمين وعفو عنا وعفي لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين اللهم 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 إنا نسألك الهدى والتقى والغنى والعفاف والمغفرة اللهم أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون والسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أكم الصلاة يرحمني ويرحمكم الله That's been inherited May Allah Ta'ala bless all of our young people May you be inspired as the people, the youth in Egypt By their example To use the, the social networking for more than just playing games And amusing ourselves to death As Neil Postman mentioned but to organize, to get to, to bring, to create communities of activists, young activists who are willing to sacrifice, to work for change in our society that's in desperate need of change. And may we never forget that although we celebrate the triumph of the people in Egypt to this point, and as we said, we know there are many, many challenges ahead. 
But what we never forget, we have our struggle right here in this country. We have a struggle against police brutality. We have a struggle against the, the racist incarceration system. A tradition, a city with a tradition of struggle. A tradition of, of, of people willing to sacrifice even their lives. Standing up to police brutality. Standing up to racist institutions. Standing up to murderous forces in many, in some instances. May Allah Ta'ala bless the people of Oakland, California. May Allah Ta'ala bless them to carry on the tradition, a community of humble people who gather in this humble space to say, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah, to exercise their, their, their right to be Muslim in a space that's open to all, men and women, old and young, May Allah Ta'ala bless this place. May Allah Ta'ala bless the people. May Allah Ta'ala bless the Muslims of this town, Oakland. In New York State, 89% of the individuals, 89%, and probably here in California it's not much different, of incarcerated individuals, Latino and African American, in, in a state where Latinos and African Americans don't even make up 20% of the population. 89% of those who are incarcerated. This is a struggle that we have to wage. We have to wage the struggle against the policies that